Malaysia is committed to work together with other ASEAN countries and China to realize the China ASEAN free trade area. When the free trade area covering 14 million square kilometers with a 1.85 billion population, the largest in the world, is established on January 1, 2010, Malaysia will have to provide zero tariffs on almost all of the products traded with ASEAN and China, except for cars, palm oil and other major commodities. Deputy Finance Minister Datuk Wira Chow Chi Hyong, who is leading a business delegation to Nanning in China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, for the China ASEAN Expo and Business and Investment Summit, says China was Malaysia's fourth largest trading partner, with a trade volume of 130 billion ringgit last year. After the economic crisis is over, our exports of course, will continue to go to those countries which we traditionally exported, like United States, the European countries, and also the, in Japan. But I believe if we continue to depend on these few advanced economies, a time will come where if they do not take our exports, our products, then we've got nowhere else to go. So to build up our market base, we must realize that ASEAN and China, or rather Asia-Pacific, is also a very, very large market. And uh, we should make our products go to such countries. At the China-ASEAN Customs Trade Cooperation Forum, a side event of the five-day China ASEAN Expo, Chow says customs officers play a key role as tax collectors and facilitators of trade, especially with the realization of the free trade area. He proposes that both Malaysian and Chinese administrations of customs set up a committee to conduct a study on the mechanism to mutually recognize economic operators in both countries. This is to fast-track customs facilitation for goods entering checkpoints in the countries. At the same forum, ASEAN Secretary General Surin Pitsuwan reveals that at this week's ASEAN Summit in Thailand, ASEAN members will sign an agreement on the protection of intellectual property for products and services traded between ASEAN and China. Because we are thinking of investing more, we are thinking of exporting more, we are thinking of importing more, we need to protect our mutual intellectual property rights in each other's markets. He also says that China is now the third largest trading partner of ASEAN, but it will soon replace America and Japan as the number one trading partner. By next year, 93% of goods traded between China, Malaysia, Thailand, the Philippines, Brunei, Indonesia and Singapore will be duty-free. Tariffs in Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam shall be down to zero by 2015. From Nanning, Chahoban, The Star, Malaysia.